Jamil, I, um, for the sake of time, I want to um, ask uh, a few directed questions about practical management of patients on uh, ruxolitinib. Um, I often get asked, what do you do with the drug prior to a surgical intervention? Or how about if the patient is admitted for some other um, inflammatory disorder, pneumonia, infection? How do you manage rux during that time? Do you abruptly stop it? Do you taper it? How do we do this? Yeah, I, I try to avoid the abrupt stoppage of the drug as much as possible. But if someone is having surgery and they're going to be uh, unable to take PO meds, then I think you can hold the drug for a few days. I try not to extend this uh, over a week if I can help it. Um, and um, basically um, try to avoid uh, those interruptions as much as possible. To, um, I I, I sometimes, if a patient gets admitted and they're sick or they're intubated um, and I cannot continue um, RUX and you can't taper it, obviously, I'll give them a low dose of prednisone. Does anyone else do that? Any science behind it? Or <laughs> There's no question that, you know, prednisone in certain circumstances can provide a little bit of additional uh, relief, you know, uh, uh, you know, I have uh, uh, patients again, but there can be, you know, kind of low grade uh, uh, rheumatologic conditions and other things that they might have that might benefit from that as well. You know, so certainly prednisone has, has some impact uh, without question, obviously with all the, the limitations that, that exist uh, in terms of, you know, kind of chronic use of corticosteroids.